Right, so get involved. First things first. You sure? <laughs> or don't you need to break your teeth? <laughs> no, I do all the time. Right, well, when, you're well, well, fe- when you're at a festival, that's the only thing you got. Oops, so this that. is what we do on this. Boom, and <laughs> bo- bottom twice. Yeah. Right, bottom. And then the top. Wicked. I'm more of a top. Are you? <laughs> Lots <laughs> so, of people understand that. So, <laughs> so guys. What about you? Are you, are you a bottom or top? <laughs> <laughs> Both, if I can. Shit, man. That's all right. So, guys, we, we have got an absolute mm. legend with us today. Where is he? Is he coming? It's me. Yes, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we've got you. Pete right. from Big Brother 2006, the winner. So he, he wasn't just on the television show, <coughs> he stormed our nation. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I think it was, in my opinion, and we're gonna go through it, <coughs> I, I, think, I think the best thing that, that could have happened at my age, I was 15 then, I'm 29 now, to teach people <laughs> about Tourette's syndrome. I, I, <laughs> Sorry, that was a twitch. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Sorry, sorry. But, uh, I was joking. I, I, just feel, I just feel, that I, I actually had no idea <laughs> what it was before. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, really? So, so let's go from... Let's talk about that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go from scratch. The f- let's go from the beginning. Like, where was you born? Wait, where was you born? I was born in um, Dulwich, uh, late, because my mum, it was really, she's only four foot 11. She's a midget. Okay. Uh, that's all right. Come on. <laughs> big, up, big up small people. I like, <laughs> no, that's why I like short women. My missus is actually <laughs> quite short as well. Oh, really? How short? <laughs> Put down the knees, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. I can't remember what you were asking. <coughs> Wait, because so my threat's been quite bad lately, so okay. I'm all over the shop. That's fine. Like the That's last fine. two nights, I've been really twitching. Uh, so my sleep pattern's awful. Mm. Especially in this stressful time we're having, pandemic and all that stuff. Yeah. That I, man, it's not good for a person who needs Needs space. Needs people the world. <laughs> Needs space. space, man. Yeah. I need to get out and twitch, but you know, I'm cooped up, so you know, it's, it's not great for me to let. So I've been, yeah, having bad night's sleep since quite stressful. So Boris Johnson, <laughs> think of the Tourettes, mate. Come on, we need to get out, man. No, but it's, it's, it's so true. I mean, <coughs> I couldn't imagine what you're going through. Anyway, Dulwich Hospital is <laughs> where, where I was born. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I was stuck. My mum was small uh, for six hours. Came out with loads of bruises on me head. Uh, I think that's this is what I was thinking. That right? is South, right? You're South London. South, yeah. right? South, okay, okay. South, bro. <laughs> so um, I got um, I got loads of bruises on my head, and I'm, I've been looking at some research lately that said that might be the cause of Tourette's, because there are, oh, there's no one's really, no one really knows what causes it. Really, it could okay. be it could be um, it could be uh, <coughs> quick. That thing that happens in your head. Sorry, I'm tired, is it? A no, do- dopamine um, imbalance and all that could be it. A dopamine imbalance. Dopamine is what makes you move, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. Kind of thing, but I've got too much of it, mate. So what's the, do you know the difference between like dopamine <laughs> and serotonin? Yeah, like, serotonin is some... stuff that makes you happy. Mm-hmm. And dopamine's, uh, I think, stuff that makes you move. Is that right? I'm not too sure. Or I know they're along the same lines. Well, you know, um, <laughs> been to a few raves where dopamine and serotonin's come into play. So have I. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and you feel fucked if you if you've anyway. It doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is, um, I think my head might have been squished because my mum was small. It might have been squished. And do you have any brothers, <laughs> sisters? Yeah, yeah. He's he's uh, eleven years old. No, I mean I mean he's eleven years younger than me. Oh, okay. He yeah, got, no, he's not got Tourette's. Okay. He's got a different dad. My dad's. I'm, you know, I haven't seen him much through my life, but I'm in contact with him now. Okay. But he, my mum mum always said he was a bit. It was a bit funny. He always used to make funny noises and were well, like twirl around um, bars and shit, you know, mm. and make daft noises and just, but, but you know, so I might, I might, I might, I might have caught it off him because it is, it is uh, something that passes down. Yeah, so, so is that, is that in genetics? <coughs> like, how does that work? I think it, 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 they say, well, basically, if I have kids, I'm going to have a Tourette kid, I think. I mean, that's what they say. It is, uh, what's that word when you spread it? <laughs> not DNA. A, not an STD. Oh. <laughs> um, that thing, you know, hereditary. Hereditary, that's it. Have you seen that film? <laughs> yeah, I laughed my head off. I thought it was well funny. The little kids. Yeah, when our when red gets knocked out, I was like, yes. Oh, in the I car. Laughed. I, laughed. I laughed my head off. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I was the only one who laughed in the cinema. Because I'm sick. I, I literally love horrors. I watch horrors since I was six years I old. I love horrors. Since I was six, I was watching like Freddy and all that shit. Oh, like, same. I'm a very big movie fan. So do you yeah, like, same. do you like like the... um? The, the really darker ones. Like, have you seen <coughs> Human Centipede? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I did a film with the, a guy from 
Human Centipede 2 called Mannequin. Oh, the, the, yeah. the actual the yeah. guy with the glasses? Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a picture of him, me sitting on the Human lap. Centipede 2 yeah, is that's disgusting. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Have but, you seen a Serbian film? Oh, uh, no, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, you've got to watch that. <laughs> if you think Human Centipede's bad. Yes. Well, I don't think it's bad, I think it's quite enjoyable. <laughs> I actually love it, I love horror. I love horror. It doesn't make me feel scared or like freaked out, mm. I think it's fun. I laugh my head off at horror. I yeah, think it's, yeah. the most, it's like comedy for me, you know? Have you seen Martyrs? <laughs> no, maybe I won't laugh at that. <laughs> Have you seen that? I've seen it. Oh my God. I saw some bird getting punched in the face the whole way through that. That was just, oh my Lord. I didn't, I didn't think, I, I didn't find it much of a horror film. It wasn't, it was, it was just like, let's disturb everybody. Where's the monster? Where's the, I, I, my, my favorite horrors are like 80s kind of <coughs> crappy. Um, Nosferatu type of thing. Shit ones, I love shit films. I really love shit B movie horrors. <coughs> That's why oh, I I've got some them. good B movie horrors, man. Uh, hum- uh, Hostel Free. Oh yeah, that, that's the comedy version. Of <laughs> yeah. Actually, they're, yeah, uh, uh, a big meat eater. That's not a porn. Oh, I like that. I like Have that. You seen that? Yeah, of course I've, I've seen that. Out. Have you seen Midnight Meat Train? <laughs> No. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait till later, uh, and then we can see that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised. Filthy what beast. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're growing up, right? Yeah. And when did you yourself realise you had Tourette's? I think I always knew I had something going on because mm. I was only little, and I, I used to go sniff a lot. Okay. And I used to go. Mum always used to say. <coughs> No, oh, I just wanted to clarify what you meant by that. sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> and now, yeah, yeah, see. <laughs> that's because how, was how old was you? Yeah, I started young. Started well young, me. Yeah. Oh, I've got one of those massage chairs. They're so good on your yeah. back, aren't they? Why is it on this thing? <laughs> yeah. Like, cut. <laughs> I'll stick that on and then we'll carry on. <coughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? I didn't sniff when I was little. That happened later in life, as you know. But, okay. Um, <laughs> but, Which um, we'll go into. Maybe that's why I started. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's because... So you used to sniffle when you were younger? And I was like... Pfft. I sniffed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Ironic, isn't it? Like, but, um, yeah. Uh, and then I used to do that a lot. Shake my head. Mm. And my mum used to say, well, you stop sniffing and stop shaking your head. But, like, um, but the thing is, um, and I had a funny twitch, like, <laughs> all the time I always had this weird breathing thing. Mm. But I always knew there was something wrong, but I never, uh, I never knew what it was. But I just kind of accepted it. I called it the clamps. My mum got the clamps again. Mm. And she'd put me in the bath and my arms would go <coughs> all over the place like that. But I never knew what it was until, well, oh, you know, for years I <coughs> like had it. And um, I kind of just went through school, getting in trouble for <coughs> doing weird stuff. And mm. I was the one who was the odd one out in school. I was much more eccentric and more just crazy because of my uh, way I was. Mm. I got bullied a lot for just the way I was, you know, and, and especially, um, I think it kind of, it kind of, uh, it came to a, uh, uh, yeah, it got worse with stress. <coughs> so I went to like South London secondary schools and that, mm. you know, and, um, you know, it didn't really go down well. <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? I can imagine. You know what I mean? Imagine, like, next yeah. to the like, roughest estates in Eltham and that. But and you're, that. you're learning <coughs> as you're going along as well, I'm guessing. I'm uh, learning about what was, I was. I can't remember anything I learned. Mm. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you're learning about t- what's going on with well, you as know. you're growing up. I, I didn't know what, at, what, what was happening. I didn't learn anything until I was diagnosed at 14. But that only happened when I was um, bullied. Because well, I was bullied a lot. Uh, I got bullied until this geezer st- stuck me in a headlock because I was twitching next to him. Mm. I mean, him and his mate got me in a headlock, <coughs> and they went, "What's the matter with you?" And I went, "I don't know. I've got, I don't know what's wrong." And then they said, "Why well, your mum shouldn't send you to school like this? You're weird." And they stuck a rubber up my nose, and I was like, "Oh, cheers, bruv. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, safe." So um, I had to go to hospital because I think it was up there. It could have choked me. Yeah, know. yeah, so definitely. Mum <coughs> took me to hospital, and oh, then it could hit your. Your yeah, brain, it could, right? It could have went there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it went, I don't know where it went. Fuck knows where it went. It, it, dis- <laughs> it disappeared like mm. all the other stuff. Thank that goes, God. That goes up there. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> that was that was, that was was a joke. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> because, you know, as you know, people know that I have had that. <laughs> had that experience. Had a few. Like a lot a of few people parties. have. <laughs> but, um, but now, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the straight and narrow. Except for this stuff. <laughs> Come here. Anyway, I um, went to the hospital. And then the doctor went, oh, I can't find the rubber. And then he um, did say, but he did look to me and went, but there is something else going on. And he went, he's got Tourette's syndrome. Mm. And I went, whoa, what's that? And um, 
my uh, mum went, what's that as well? And then she, he said, yeah, it's this, 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 this illness which, make, which makes you tick and twitch and, and um, yeah, it was a neurological um, uh, disorder, something like that, condition. Mm whatever it is and she said how long does that last then and he, and he said forever so uh, that was uh, that was that then but <coughs> in a way I was relieved I was like oh my god thank god you know that there's a Some, name to it something, or something I guess so, yeah I've been yeah. being diagnosed for something <coughs> is like a massive weight off your shoulders mm. because you um, you're confused for years and you're not you just don't fit in with anyone you know and you're yeah. always <coughs> And you're always really just, um, yeah, just searching alone as well. Very, very, yeah. It's, in, in a way, yeah, you're searching for some answer why you're different and w- what what the fuck's going on with you. Why everyone else is, you know, growing up having a a normal teenager <coughs> experience. Mm. Um, when I, and, you know, and I can't chat birds up. I'll just start like, you know, really? I, well, I couldn't. I can tell you right now, women will fall at your feet. Absolutely. Well, they do. They do. You're now. a great-looking man. You've got a great <laughs> like, personality. No, no. This is before. <laughs> this is before. Oh, before. <laughs> before. When before I, the fame. I was, I was good-looking. You know. Yeah, like my dad's either. a good. My dad's got jaw. Like, he's a fit bloke. My dad. You know, I'd give him one. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but he's my dad. So yeah, that would be. You know. Yeah, I wouldn't be top or bottom in that situation. It'd be a no, no, dad. I'm not having sex with you. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Sorry. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not about me being fit. Thanks very much. Before the dad sex stuff. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, what were we talking about? I can't re- okay, so you said to me <laughs> before the camera was on that I probably have ADHD. Only because you have a fan on. Yeah, if every not, night to sleep. Every night, yeah. I've been doing that, I've been doing that since I was little. Okay. And um, ADHD comes with Tourette's, mm. OCD comes with Tourette's. Okay. Um, and I've always had a fan on mm. since I was little. I felt like it protected me. I hate quiet, you know. I need to, yeah, I, I need, can't deal with quiet. You know what I mean? You need I to, my thoughts are just like all, all the time. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't stop brushing my teeth until they bled. And I was like really OCD about mirrors and mm. like just stuff, weird stuff. So where does the swearing come from? In <coughs> That's what I've never, I've never understood. It's like a weird thing. Have you ever like, I know when you trip over and you go, fuck. Okay. Yeah, is it the same? <laughs> makes you feel good, you know? That's it crazy. You... I've, never thought, I've never thought of it as simple <coughs> as that. It makes you feel that the so... Twitch, the twitch makes you it feels swear. so good. I mean, like, my Tourette's is really around here. Mm. <coughs> in my chest. Mm. And it builds up and it's, it needs a release somehow. Mm. Um, one thing I do is I just hit myself really hard mm. and that, that pain I get hurt and it kind of relieves all that tension that's built up. Well, I, when like, I first started dealing with depression, what I used to do when I was younger was, was punch my uh, face. Yeah, I like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how, why I used to do that. But Tourette's comes with depression, anxiety, ADHD, OCD. So I'm always depressed and I'm always anxious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do what I can to keep going. Um, but yeah, hit myself. I I really like pain. And isn't that weird? okay? It no, really, no, there's, there's a lot like of people. A, yeah, yeah, it's a real relief. You know, it's a re, you know, I'm a kinky bastard, and um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it's great. It doesn't hurt me. Pain kind of hurt, doesn't hurt. Kind yeah, of, it, it, relieves, it gives you a, a different it, sensation to yeah, most. Yes, it relieves this horrible like tension I have all over my body. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, whack, yeah, and wankers. <coughs> that really, that that word came about when I was sixteen. Because I went to special school mm-hmm. because I weren't allowed in normal school because I was <coughs> but bullied by everyone, uh, you know. So I went to loads. Of, I went to school with everyone who had Down syndrome, okay. T- Tourette syndrome, and Prada Willy. <laughs> Prada Willy. Prada, What's Prada Willy? That's what uh, Jordan's son's got. He can't stop eating. So oh you get, right. So you get massive. They just can't stop eating. Right. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So there was like, you know, but there were some Tourettes there. So. Did, you, did that help you being around everyone else that were dealing with problems yeah. as well? Yeah, because it was the first school that I was never bullied. You know? Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> and I became, you know, I fucking hate bullies. Yeah, if you're man. bullies out there, and I'm talking about in the world of work as well, because yeah. I have been bullied in the world of work. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come on. Oh, you know. I was, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I met my bully again after, after I won Big Brother. Oh, did you? And yeah, I bet yeah. he was up your arsehole, wasn't he? <laughs> he was. He was like, um, oh, Pete, are you at my school? Let's have a picture. And he was down here, and I was like, oh, he, he, was he, like, didn't, he didn't look right. But I bet, you still, I bet you still opened him with open no, arms. No, I did, though, of course right? I did. But afterwards, I went, what a can. <laughs> <You know laughs> what I, mean? I was like, that geezer ruined my life. Because he, kind of, he, he, he kind of ruined my, um, my self-confidence. 
you know, sticking up for people. Mm. I mean, myself. Myself, yeah. Yeah, because like, I always try to stick up myself, but as he was so big when I was when I, in school, I, you know, I, was, I tried to stick up myself when he was bullying me, and then I never got that confidence, because every time I punched him back, he would punch me even harder, and I'd be fucked. You know? So let's let's go into, because meeting you now, you don't <laughs> understand. I, you, you, to me, was like, I know this is going to sound quite over-exaggerated, but to you, to me, was like how I used to see Eminem when I was younger. Like the Chuckle Brothers. No, just like you was, <laughs> you was massive to me. I did not oh, know really? what Tourette's was <coughs> until you came on our screens, and I was a Big Brother fanatic. I watched every Wait. series. So, so you, so you, you come on the screen. Compared me to Eminem. <laughs> well, that's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying yes, is that <laughs> when you're younger, people on the TV, whether yeah. they're from America, do, yeah. doing reality, uh, if they were doing music, a reality <laughs> TV, it didn't, it didn't. It didn't mean one was more famous than the other, or that you was on the TV. Yeah, so that okay. was that was big. So yeah, yeah. so now it. learning about a bit more now, even this conversation, I'm learning a bit more about what Tourette's is even in the last fifty <coughs> minutes, right? Oh, it's it's a lot. So of things, going yeah. into Big Brother, talk to me about how does Channel Four at that point allow you, screen you to go on the national television? They needed ratings, bruv, you know? Oh, of course. <laughs> they, needed, they needed to just, you know what I mean? And I remember like, when I went down there and I went and auditioned, uh, um, <laughs> they loved me. They absolutely just, they gave me a star. No one else gets a star. Everyone was like, you know, auditioning uh, uh, in the big queues, but I was, I went there and, and I'm Pete, mate, I've got Tourette's wankers. I still haven't explained how the wankers came about. <coughs> we'll come to that. Okay, yeah. but we'll get to that. Yeah, um, but yeah, but and you know, and they and they were like, "Now nah, you're putting it on." They're trying to break me down. But I was so strong by then because I'd got so much kind of self confidence, and I knew that I was the one who was going to um, help the nation with with the understanding of Tourette's, give a positive uh, kind of vibe to to uh, everyone because mm. lots of there was lots of negative Tourette's stories out beforehand. It was okay. such a it was such a a sad story. And what, so what <coughs> series did you do again? Um, Six or? Seven. Seven, okay. But yeah, I went down there as confident as anything mm. and gave them the best like, like um, introduction in, in, in this crowd of people because I was in front of everyone. And they saw that I was really like strong. They tried to break me down and they went, no, I'm Pete, I'm perfect Pete, don't worry. You know, I'm like, I've got Tourette's, yeah, man. And I've come to, wait, I can't remember where it is. But they, they, they went, they gave me a star, when, and that makes me get straight through to the end. Did you see them do <laughs> it at the time as well? Yeah, because mm. like, they, they, they got like a survey, and, they, they, and usually people get a tick. They, okay. they get through to the next round, but I got a star, and that made me get through to the last round. So That's I didn't have to do it's any crazy, more. Isn't it? I, so I got in straight away. Yeah. So that they knew that they had a fucking wicked cut. Um, so let's go back. So before, <laughs> so before you've tried to um, get onto Big Brother, yeah. was there anyone around you that was scared for you to go on? Did, I mean, because um, obviously they're probably not even thinking you're going to get on, right? <coughs> Whack. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, I think I know. I I had so much confidence that everyone I told were happy for you. They then. they went. They knew that I was going to get in. It's weird. I had this such. I had belief. I had belief, you know, and I knew I was going to win, and yeah. I knew that I was the one to put the fucking Tourettes on the map and help out. Uh, absolutely. <coughs> Whack. Help out the country. And I knew I was strong like that, and I knew that there was no one else going to do it. So it was it was my job. It was. It felt weird at the time because I'd had a lot of. You know, I had a lot of um, experiences at the time. I was a bit of a raver, and there was some lots of circumstances that had made me see this path that was that was put before me. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, well, you met Nikki uh, I, 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 at I, the time. I met Nikki in the house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah, of course. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> That's mad. It's, it's all crazy. It's so crazy. But, but anyway, the what? what Wankers came about. I haven't got to that bit yet. Oh yeah, yeah go on, say that right. part. When I was in special school, yeah, um, I had Tourette's. Been given like fifty out of fifty-nine five known twitches, which is a hot, a lot of Tourette's. So I was the most twitchy guy in Europe at the time. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then I went to the special school, Parkwood Hall School, mm. and they, there's lots of people who are looking at me um, at this one day. I had to go and get assessed. So they stuck me in the middle of the room, and there's loads of people around me with books and like doctors and I felt very kind of like I was in the middle of this room full of surrounded by doctors they were assessing me not saying a word mm. um, just writing about what they were seeing and I remember this thing just built up in me I went wankers all here <laughs> <laughs> I just came out yeah I just went I just thought this is just wankers all here mm. and that was my twitch for a couple of years maybe. okay wankers and then it was followed by all of you so I included everyone okay <laughs> <Wank>. <laughs> 
but now it's wank. Oh, so you were saying wankers all of you? Yeah. Every sort of Twitch? Yeah, that was it. It wasn't just wankers or wank as it is now. Mm. You know, it was wankers then all of you are. But it kind of has, you know, I thought, well, don't need the all of you bit. It's just wankers is fine. But that's so <laughs> fascinating. That includes everyone. That's fascinating <laughs> that you was able to sort of not necessarily choose the word, yeah. but aim your mind to be able to control a word you wanted to say. <coughs> well, it's not, just, yes. Yeah, it's, 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 not at the time I had no control over it. <coughs> but I don't know, it's got a funny thing. Tourette's is weird, man. It's like it, 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 it evolves. You know, there's new twitches appear, some disappear, mm. it evolves and it kind of does, you know, it does what it likes. And um, I think you just thought, well, don't need the <laughs> all of your bit. <laughs> 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 It just, it just needs, yeah, just needs, wank is, kind of includes everyone. But now, now, lately, it's pretty much just wank. Mm. You know, so if I'm in the supermarket and I'm like, wank! <laughs> but then, but, uh, are people, I honestly, as a whole, as a whole, as the human race, as they deal with you, mm. are they more understanding or not? Yeah, I don't get no problems now. Mm. Before uh, Big Brother, I had shit loads of problems. Really? <coughs> okay. Yeah, I had loads, because I was wanking a lot. Um, as in <laughs> the Twitch, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so they would get really upset. <laughs> I'd walk down the street in Brighton, I'd, I'd, you know, wank off and they'd fucking, do you know what I mean? Get chased down the street, say, were you fucking wanking at me, mate? Yeah. Like, what, yeah. mate? My fault. And yeah. they had no idea that I had this Twitch thing called Tourette's. No one knew about it. So I had to go on telly and, and sit, when I came out, I can wank anywhere I like. And no one gives a <laughs> shit. Yeah. You know I, mean? I like that, man. I, 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 that is the, one of the best things I've heard this year. Yeah, just, they love it. Just, yeah. hearing, just hearing like a soul like you being embraced. <laughs> you know? Because cause Big Brother, I really honestly feel it embraced you. I really don't feel it was a camera on you to, um, to magnetise your Tourette. I feel that the, the nation mm. actually embrace you more than maybe took the piss because they don't understand. In oh, my yeah. opinion, they, but I, I was they, young, so. They embraced me because I think I made it funny, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's, uh, I kind of wanted to make it a, a funny thing. Like Jim Carrey, he was my hero. Jim Carrey, you, know you remind me of Jim Carrey. He's my hero, yes. man. He was the guy that was like me, in a way. Because okay. I, I wanted to be like this guy who helped the kids. Just helps people. Accept themselves. Yeah. Jim Carrey was mine, even though he might not have Tourette's. Fucking hell, he looks like he does. <laughs> Do you know yeah, I mean? no, I know what you mean. He's always running about making silly faces. Your, 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 your uh, the way your mannerisms are so similar, well, very it's, similar. It's weird because, uh, yeah, I get, I get that because he was my. I had no one to look to look up to when I was little. Mm. He is the fucking like he he helped me accept myself. Ah, oh, yeah. I wasn't accepting myself. Oh, I was very depressed when I was younger. Mm. Especially being bullied, couldn't get a bird, and I thought I'm gonna be fucked the rest of my life. But then I kind of he I find I found that my mum used to laugh at my Tourette's a lot. Loads of funny things used to happen with my Tourette's. I'd end up, my face would end up in my, her friend's minge and I'd say something funny like, sorry. Wait, wait, sorry, me. sorry. I just sort of slipped past that. <laughs> <laughs> Your, whose face is going in whose minge? <laughs> sorry, I anyway, heard that. What and I'm, I'm trying to say is my yeah. body used to do things. I, oh, I, sorry, you used to sort I, of I, I couldn't help myself. Okay, sorry. My body did what it wanted. Okay, okay. My face would end up in people's tits and minges and I'd have to come up with some funny line. And, you know, <laughs> okay, um, okay. But, uh, if, but before Jim Carrey came along, I would have been so embarrassed. But he kind of made me think that this is fucking funny, man. This yeah, is a, yeah. a funny illness. I really like actually all the silly faces that come out of me and all the kind of weird mannerisms and you know, it, it, ends, it makes me do stupid stuff <coughs> and say really weird stuff at su funny times. So Jim Carrey was my, my hero. Because I, I feel like your personality really, um, it actually enhances what the, your Tourette's is, but sort of, people I think accept it more because <laughs> the, the way your personality pushes it forward. Because yeah. I've seen people with Tourette's who are so severely depressed. I know they are. That that it's it's so intense the Tourette's it is. that it it take it, it, it really enhances the experience with them but with you mm. you get a full package that you've got a, an amazing personality <laughs> and presence <laughs> so the Tourette's it, it it's like um a small maybe hindrance to someone who's not used to it this is the first time I've ever had a conversation with someone with Tourette's oh really ever all right how am I doing well it's a good start I tell you that one. <laughs> 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 yeah no yeah. I'm just, I mean, seriously 
First ever. ever. <coughs> well, yeah, that's, I, yeah. Well, it's good, 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 good. That's that's nice. I'm, I'm glad you started on a, on such a positive front. But they're usually, they're usually not very positive. They're quite. They, they we do suffer with depress, uh, depressed, depressed, <laughs> depression. Mm. Um, but they get depressed about having Tourette's. I never get depressed about having Tourette's. Yeah. I really embrace it. I really love. Yeah, love, yeah. Um, love it in a way. Mm. Yeah, it wouldn't make me who I am, you know. And I really like. I really like to uh, show that uh, you can actually have a really good positive life with Tourette's. Hopefully, some someone with, out there with Tourette's can watch me and go, "Fucking hell, yeah, all right then, come on in." Yeah. yeah. So, and you know, I, I I do things that a normal Tourette wouldn't do. You know, I bought a win Big Brother. Mm. You never think that. Uh, that that <coughs> sorry, you know that is I mean? still amazing. Do you know what I mean? I thought I'm gonna do that. We're I've gonna got, go back into all of that, by the way. And I, I become an actor now, so I do lots of like exactly. And I thought that t- person with Tourette's can't act. I thought, well, let's do it anyway. You know what I mean? I thought let's do all the things that a normal person with Tourette's we couldn't do. You know, so porn's <laughs> next. Um, nah, joking. I bet you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that meat meat movie. Yeah. Number two, what's meat, it called again? Uh, meat grinder. No, no, uh, <laughs> no, meat, no, meat, meat that meat. <laughs> number two, yes, bruv. His only fans is coming, guys. I'm telling you. Yeah, I bet he's got a shrong on him as well. <laughs> I have, yes. People with Tourette's have very big penises, as you know. <laughs> it's part of the deal, isn't it? So you know, not, it's not, like, not so bad. So um, <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> So you're in the Big Brother house now. Were you a fan of Big Brother before? Yes, I liked it. I liked. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't think it was good enough. You know. Mm. <laughs> I thought, right, let's make it really good. I need let's to go, put my own spin let's, on let's it. Go, let's go, yeah, fine. So after seven, it's been fucked. I, I never, it's never, I never saw it. Um, I think seven was the best. I think. I mean, it's still. I mean, it it's got still very massive. Ma- I mean, massive rate. But you know. It, it, it did try afterwards, and I, I didn't see it. Kind, of, I kind of went. Yeah. And what was being in the house like inside <coughs> the house? Um, I don't know what. I quite liked it. I liked it because I don't like. Well, I don't like. I don't like being part of this. Um, this. You know what I mean? I mean, I like being in a. It's horrible. I mean, I'm not a fan of uh, <laughs> the TV or. No, I just. I just like being away from. I don't. <laughs> Uh, this country, uh, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh <laughs> no, a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> this country, man, does my nothing. I mean, I love the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. The weather's terrible. The weather's terrible, and like, the way things are run, terrible. Yeah, exactly. It's all work, it's harsh, work, it's, work. It's, 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 a lot of people harsh. are depressed. It's depressing. It's harsh, man. It's just. Like, it's oh. drugs and alcohol in this country. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and yeah, everyone's smoking. Suicide yeah, because like, everyone's miserable. It's hard. It's Fifty-hour working hard weeks. Country. It's bullshit. It's hard, man. And you know, it's the first time I've been away from. Uh, you know what was lovely about being a, it was it was you know f- before Big Brother I was Tourette as fuck and I was going through all my problems with people not knowing who the fuck I was and started on me getting beaten up nearly all the time but then suddenly being in the house I was away from it all quite <coughs> cause and um, I, and I knew that I was projecting myself and I was spreading myself through the the TV and I just loved it you know I loved being. You know, it was a real life changer for me because that had got to be the best series, going without in, a doubt. Because before Big Brother, life was actually quite shit, to be honest. I okay. didn't like it. I Could went, you get work as well before? Yeah, but not great work. Like, yeah, I mean, I had a I had a job like doing cloakroom at a, a mm. club, um, and uh, that was about it. Mm. <laughs> I, mean, I was there for years just doing the cloaks, but I loved it because it was quite I'm quite OCD. So, yeah, and I was doing it really fast. <laughs> I loved it, but. And I had a band going and that, and I was like, "What yeah. type of music do you like?" I like all music. Same, yeah. everything. Everything, man. So I went, <coughs> but now, now I can't get a job, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem. Mm. I mean, I went in. I, uh, life's much better now for me, as in I'm accepted, and you know, mm-hmm. people, people were like, "Oh, they see me in the street, like, hey!" Instead of do like, people Wee. just still remember you. Everywhere. Yeah, like two people left there in Bromley, random old lady was like, "Oh, you're the bloke off TV." I was like, "Hello." <laughs> She's all oh, lovely. Because you know what's crazy? <laughs> Obviously, now everything's yeah. moved to Instagram and so on, right? Yes. Now, people could look at your Instagram and say he's got 20,000 odd followers. Yeah. But that is not a true reflection of how many people know you in this country. No, because I... For yeah. example, I wasn't following you. Yeah. Big up Madam Esmeralda. <laughs> she told me, oh, Pete's on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Dominatrix that I'm close with. And I went, I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, she, she... Is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we're hey, just, we're just friends. We're friends. Oh, all right. Uh, we've had experiences because <laughs> uh, I needed to learn about some things. <laughs> but she um, told me, oh, Pete's on Instagram. Yeah. I went, oh my God, I've got to get in contact with him. So 
You have millions of people who know who you are mm. still. <laughs> but obviously you wouldn't go to Instagram and think that. But yours is a yours is a timeless fame in this country because Big Brother is a stamp in a reality TV yeah. time. It's, I guess it's, so. It's, yeah. it's, 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 like, yeah. it's massive, man. It's massive. So so what was it like falling in love on camera? Oh, that was a bit scary, yeah. Yeah. It was scary or scared. I was scared. I was like, I was like, whoa, this is weird. No, yeah. I didn't know. I was kind of like, yeah, it was, I was like scared. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. I was like, this is a feeling. It's on camera. It's strange because I know Nikki isn't really my type. Mm. So, but I, but in terms I, of I looks, personality? Or? Just personality. I mean, she looks, she's a lovely, lovely girl, but her, you know, her tantrums, that's not, that's not my cup of tea, really. Mm. But I think um, she was the best out of, Oh, no, because we were so, we were so close. In <laughs> the, we were so close. We were so close. We always hugged. We always chatted. We, yeah, you know, it was she, beautiful, we man. We were there for oh. three and a half months in the same house together. So you know, I think your brain kind of, kind of chooses what your surroundings. So if it was just me, you, and him, the cameraman, in this room for three and a half months, who would you choose? Jesus <laughs> Christ! Do you know what God I mean? knows what would. <laughs> So in a way, it's like you're, you're surrounded by this, this, these people, and, uh, and that's your reality. That's your brain. And then you, you, you. I think I chose one that was most suitable for me at the time. You know. So did you, you always knew you would win? <coughs> Wait, because yeah, so I, yeah, I knew I'd win. Now, come on. I thought that. I, no, I, I had a, I had a vision back back in before I went on Big Brother, um, which told me that I was going to win, um, and uh, I knew I was going to win. That's why I had that belief. I had the belief back because I mm. knew that. I knew that I was going to win. I saw my path and I so went for it. So what was that like? They've called your name. You're the last one sitting there. <coughs> it thinking, was, it and was, you walk outside. Those doors open. Davina, that sexy salt comes out. <laughs> what, what is that like? Tell me what that's like. You know what? It's a weird one. In a way, I might have ruined, I might have ruined it for myself. Because as I knew I was going to win, like I had no... I, knew, I didn't... I wasn't so surprised when I won. Okay. It was a bit like... I, I, gave, I gave a good like... Way, but... In, in my heart, I was like, shit, I wish I didn't know in a way. Oh, that sounds really weird. But, no, but, do but you... in a way, I had such belief in myself and I knew that I was going to have to be the winner of that show. But Pete, I'm not going to lie to you. Right? I don't even think you understand deeply what you did. You, really? you, you, you changed the whole country's perception of Tourette's, of Tourette's in, in one show. So I know Big Brother goes under yeah, crazy yeah. scrutiny, especially after everything that happened to um, <clears throat> to Jade and so on, mm. and, e and even further. I mean, a lot of other yeah. things happened after. I didn't watch it. But 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 <clears throat> it really again. I had no idea what interest existed before that show. That's mad, isn't it? And and for you to win, be embraced. Mm -hmm. That you know, <coughs> Josh, just give him a quick clap. Come on, come on, man. Come on in. Like it was Safe. just for me, like to even meet you today, like it's it's, it's a big thing for me. And um, so so you win what is it, fifty grand, a hundred grand? You win a hundred grand. Uh, yeah, then I when you win, you win a hundred grand. Yeah, but I gave it to mum because I needed to help her get her flat in France. Of course, and then, <coughs> and then all this all this exposure on television and so on. Yeah, I mean, on. I got a bit so, of money here and there. But so you know, what what was that like to your mind? Um. I was nice. I mean, I, I loved people shouting legend. Literally thousands of people just chased me down the street. And they were always shouting legend, all these birds are like, woohoo! And I was like, fucking hell, everyone was on my case. Cameras. But I missed the social media thing. There wasn't any like Instagram or Yeah, Facebook. there was nothing, was there? So I missed was Facebook. I, I missed no, that. No, Facebook weren't even I missed there, that nice it? wave of like getting fucking millions of followers on my <laughs> so Yeah. You know, so you know, the, the next series came along and they got bloody thousands and thousands of followers and I haven't got that many because I missed that wave. But it's all right. Maybe it's good like that. Maybe it's like whew, nice and chilled. You know? Yeah, because, <laughs> but, I, I'm, because I mean, it's <laughs> nice you, and chilled. It's, I'm telling you now, social media is a pandemic in itself. Yeah. How man. many people are killing themselves? And really? I, and, really? and and yeah, man. What yeah. through social media? Yeah, man. Are Especially, they? I mean, obviously, do you know Love Island, for example? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, <clears throat> Sophie. She killed. God us. bless her soul. Yeah. Mike Faller. God bless his soul. That's all. That's all from Love Island. Isn't all it? from Love Island. Um, Fucking hell, how have I completely lost her name now? Um, Thingy. I've completely lost <laughs> her name. Completely lost her name. I think I know her who you mean. I think I know who you mean. I've got to say her name now. She's channeling, she's channeling, I can hear her. What's it? <laughs> Come on. I I'm sorry, know. we'll, we'll cut it, this bit out with, but no, I can't right. not say her name because. Um, don't, don't cut it out. So, what's it? What's Maybe it? just put a picture up of her. 
And, and then you Car- can... Caroline Flack. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. That's the one. Caroline Flack. God bless her soul. You know. Oh, I don't know. Th- uh, there's yeah, so I much. Killed, they three killed her. Wow. There's so much pressure Mental. with being on reality TV <coughs> and then having social media at the same time. So yeah. God knows what would have maybe happened to you if you was that famous in Big Brother yeah. and it came out to having yeah. a million followers yeah. and having a million people say nasty mm. things to you every you know day. what I don't know. I'm lucky I'm lucky on that I'm lucky that I don't get many nasty comments um, and you know um, yeah so it is lucky I, God knows if, I probably would have if I had like like you say hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers I you would have had a million the minute you I would have probably up. had a million yeah so it kind of maybe you know, I've got a stress-related illness. I don't need it. So maybe it's quite nice that I haven't got that many. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. And I do have suicidal thoughts all the time. I, you know we, I, mean? I think we all do, man. It's, I think we all do. Especially in this fucking pandemic. Mm. I have a counsellor every week just to keep me going, you know? That's good, Every man. week, I'm, you know, I need to doing, get get a nice, get my therapy in. Because, Just because yeah. life's hard. It's uh, Especially hard. being famous with Tourette's. And, um, and you know, you know, it's like... And there's some, sometimes there's loads of media out there that doesn't ring true on who I am like you know there's like the recent one was uh, Pete spent all his money on drugs god and I didn't you know what I mean I, I gave it to my mum like I said mm. uh, the winnings to mum yeah I might have partied afterwards like I everybody did, would I, did, I didn't give my mum I mean I didn't give um, I gave my mum 100 grand or no actually I can't lie 70 grand because I kept 30 for myself but I gave her 70 grand <laughs> So that she could buy a house, but in the paper, in the Daily Mirror, it said Pete spends all his money on drugs and bailiffs, and all these people <laughs> are believing it. Of Wait, course they would. But I, hate, I hate that. You the, know? I hate that. I, I hate, that. hate the, the media, like, or whatever, like, is putting a false story about me. Well, I'll and, t- that, and my suicidal thoughts are boing, Here we go again. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you on a, a, to look at it in another perspective. Yeah. How people just believe anything the media put out there. It's crazy. I know. <coughs> How people watch the news and just believe exactly what the news tell you. I know. It's, it's really crazy bad. to it's me. Harsh. You know, I'm, I'm someone that understands the media in and out. Social media, yeah. music. Is it? It's, it's, my, it's my passion. It's my love. I understand it. Do you make music? I do, yes. Me too. So, <laughs> uh, so for me, I, I find it crazy that someone will, for example... Say if, it, if this was today, yeah? yeah? On Instagram, someone will share, Pete um, spends all his money on drugs. Yeah. And just shares it. They saw it on <coughs> UK, UK Gossip TV. I know. They share it, right? Yeah. Why would you share that? Why, why have you not looked at the sources? You know Where's what? the source yeah. coming from? Yeah, it's true. They, they just... Have you spoke to Pete personally? They didn't speak or... to me. They just put it out and then it spread like wildfire. But it's like, it's, just, it's, it's as simple as, where, <coughs> where's the source <coughs> coming from? The sources come from a is person it true? who sells stories for their own fucking gain because they've got their little name in it. A little interview of this person. And Simon Gross, he fucked me up. And, he, and you know what? I was really upset because I had a real, I thought that we were having a nice conversation with this guy, Simon Gross. Mm. Next thing you know, he's, it's, the story's twisted. You know, he asked me, um, what did you spend your money on? And I, you know, I did say, yeah, I spent my money, some money on my, on drugs, you know, because obviously, yeah, I'm quite a nice person, you know, like, but it wasn't the winnings. So they put like, they, then they, but he twisted it to the winnings. And so they so the peeps spent all his winnings on drugs and bailiffs. And I was like, mate, for one, you can't spend your money on your winnings on bailiffs because it's done, not taxable anyway. Yeah, of thing. course. <laughs> <laughs> so then, but yeah. that's, the, what, that's what annoys me is now, is that is that's what people do, right? So they will put you up on a pedestal. Yeah. And they, people love yeah. the underdog. Yeah? <coughs> that's because I'm And then as soon as you're yeah. up there, they want to just grab you back down. They that's, don't want to see you be up there too long. That's because that's the problem of being a winner. In a way, sometimes I wish, fuck, if I hadn't won, I wouldn't be getting all these people um, shaming me, you know, mm. trying to bring me down. And that's true. It's a true thing. People who are winners, people want to fucking bring them down, you know. So great, I won Big Brother, but there are these, there are, there are, there's a, some, it's something in the human nature that wants to bring people who are winners down. Yeah, no, it, there is, there um, is, honestly. It's weird though. So before so if, we continue, yes. what other IPA would you like, sir? <coughs> well, I don't know. I mean, let's have a look then. Got, yeah, so you've got, I've got all different ones. <laughs> so I've got American style IPA. That's nice, that one. Do you That's want like, that one? Yeah, all right. Go on, I'll open it for you. I'm going to do the teethy thing. Again. How do I want you to break your teeth <laughs> on camera? Break your teeth. <laughs> Idiot. We don't have that sort of insurance, me and Josh. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so, uh, uh, I'm going to so, um, so yeah, so so now, okay. That's quite. Had yeah. you done much drugs before Big Brother? 
Oh yeah, I was a, I was a raver. I was a raver. I'm a raver. I, I lived in Ibiza for quite a while. <coughs> I'm, a, I'm, I, I'm an ultimate raver. I mean, I'm ready to go raving, mate. <laughs> yeah, especially with that top on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I have been. A, I was a I, man. I was an absolute raver for years um, before Big Brother. Fucking too right, you know. I just got to Brighton. I just Brighton's amazing. My yeah. my, my close close friends. Yeah. Um, who told me? Because I said to him. Yeah. Pete's coming. He loves <laughs> IPA. he loves IPA. <laughs> Big up yourself, Tom Gale Safe. and Sean. Uh, they love IPA now. That's what they bang on about. It's nice stuff, man. So it they really, told me what to get. It's, it's but, all, it's but Tom, you yeah. know, he used to go to university in Brighton. So oh, yeah. I actually got arrested in Brighton. What for? That was uh, the, the first and only time I got arrested in Brighton. I got arrested in Brighton for 24 hours. We really? went. We, we were DJing in um, Digital. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm. Um, and something happened where friend picked up like a broken phone on the floor. And then when we was walking back to our hotel after playing, yeah. um, a, a group of people had the, where's your iPhone app? So they, oh, they right. said that they had filed a stolen mm. phone report. So when the old bill come, <coughs> they, they nicked me and three other people. I won't, I won't say who they are. Okay. And we was in a cell for 24 hours in Brighton for that. For that? Only for that? It was, just, it was a mistake? Well, was well, a well they had to because it had been reported as stolen, which was crazy because we... We, we gave them the phone back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's my, I've been to Brighton many times because um, my good friend Tom used to live there. So we used to go all over the revs, you know, the D&B raves, yeah, yeah. house raves. I'm a big house raver. I'm a, I'm a big everything raver. <coughs> but where, where the house, is, you know, is my, is my big thing, underground house. So I go to, you know, yeah. Fuse a lot. Um, you know, those types of raves mm. uh, where I was in Ibiza for quite a long time as well. Um, you would love it, man. You would love it. You would love it. I, I, I definitely would love. I'd love you would Ibiza. love it because it's not oh, what no. people think. People that haven't gone there, I think, sort of compare it to like this sort of lavish sort of um, celebrity plush lifestyle. But if you are a hippie at heart music yeah. lover, yeah. it changed my life forever. <coughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh, safe man. Go on then. <laughs> so, let's go. Let's so, go. Come so, on. what was your? Um, actually, before we continue, let's come in was. Let's do this. So the top. Mine's bigger. Than top you. and then bottom twice. Okay. <laughs> and then top. Okay, but, safe. So, okay, you've come out. Did things get worse because you're partying more? Oh, well. Um, tell you what, what, the only thing that got worse is that I went through quite a lot of, like, uh, loss, um, which is... Which I'm sorry to hear, man. No, I'm, you know, it's, it's life, innit? But Unfortunately. Before Big Brother, I went through a really big loss. That's what kind of... Uh, it didn't inspire me to go on Big Brother anyway, because... <laughs> like, it's a long story. I was on a lot of hallucinogenic acid basically I was, <laughs> okay. as lot, I was on a lot of acid and lots of you know party things but acid was main I was a right I've trip. tried that once really I great tried time a lot of acid <laughs> so <laughs> a hippie I mean, festival we I did mean, it was I've pretty done, amazing I've done a lot of acid a lot of trips um, but that's before before Big Brother and you know I auditioned on it as well I was, like, <laughs> I was tripping my nut off at the audition oh my god yeah I know it's bad isn't it <laughs> <laughs> well it's not because you want it <laughs> He's interesting, you know. We're not promoting acid, people. No, no, this is in the papers. But it may make you win a reality TV show. <laughs> yeah, it's in the papers already, so <laughs> it's not like I'm saying something that's, that's not new. out there. Yeah, yeah. that's out there. But they fucking loved that story. It was all over the paper. Pete did acid when he was auditioning, and they made it so. But, but I was. I had to stay up all night, you know, because I hadn't slept the night before. <laughs> so I was like, shit, I've got to go to London. And my mate Wobbly Bob was like, was like I'll take this, Pete. Maybe it will help you get stay up all night and go and I was like so you know good friend <laughs> a good friend God bless Wobbly Bob that, oh, God bless like his I'm soul. saying he was my best friend and, oh um, man I'm um, so... like, yeah he, he was my best friend I watched him die of cancer afterwards oh man I'm sorry he was my best him. friend in the whole world and, well listen he, he, and, he will and, be proud of you oh I know he would he's, oh, he's, he's a fucking did he get to watch you through Big Brother yeah he did yeah. oh amazing amazing he did yeah yeah but like that's the thing when I lost him man oh fucking hell it's fucked me right up of and course it, man it's taken years for me to, to not cry at Christmas because that's when he died oh man and it's been like you know years of um, trying to get over him, but he's like he was my best friend. It, it just it was like a bromance. I used to text each other every night. Like, oh, I love, I love you, Bob. Yeah, <laughs> like, man. Listen, we I, I've got close <laughs> friends like that. We and weren't gay. We were just, just so close and like. Mate, listen, I've got very close little yeah, yeah, friends yeah, yeah. that I have. You know, uh, one like, of my cl close friends. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I could name them. 
Yeah. They say your close friends <laughs> are, are on, on one hand or whatever, you know, but there's people I've spoke to every day and people can call that a bromance or whatever they yeah, want. It's nice but I take it very personal it's nice having close friends that are, who are male. Yeah, yeah I know? like it. Yeah, it's nice. You get a, you can get a good one, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, and he was, and but yeah, he died of cancer at 40. And that's like two years away from me, actually. I'm 38 now. So, wow, it's mad. So, yeah. You, but you're aging backwards. <laughs> yeah. I probably look more like I'm 40 than he does. Are you? Oh, you're younger. 29. 29. 20, 20. How old was you when you was on Big Brother? Uh, 24. 24. That's still so young. I was, yeah, I was 24. Man. I was a nutcase at 24. If I was on the TV at 24, Jesus. Well, I, don't I was know. too. I was a bit of a nutter. But, you know. But, yeah, 24 is a good age to be nuts, I think, you know. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But, uh, yeah. But then yeah, afterwards, I like you say. It did go downhill. I mean, I was on a right high level. Bosh, me and Nikki split up, and then the papers ripped the shit out of me. You know what I mean? But that's because you two were, were, yeah. were to this day, were, were, were the posh and becks of Big Brother. You were massive. Yeah, yeah, we were. Massive. So were, we, were we really that big? Yes. Oh, my God. I don't know. To this what, day. From my, from my perspective, I don't see that. I, to I this day, see. people still share, share um, footage mm-hmm. of you two in the house. Okay, cool. All right, I didn't know that. To this yeah. day, you know, yeah. we're in 2021. Yeah. That was in 2006. All right, okay. There's been reality TV shows bigger than Big Brother yeah. who who the the people on that show have, you know, you can't remember them <laughs> after a year. Yeah. So, okay, well, there you go then. So mm-hmm. all in all, though, I mean, you know, we're going to go through what's happened after now. So, so you two broke up. You and Nikki broke up. Like... Yes, what, yeah, but it's what a, was all that? What, what was all that about? Like, was it just too much? Like, you're, yeah, you're I mean, so yeah, famous at the it time. It was too much. It was. I mean, you know, big, without Big Brother telling Nikki off, it was a whole different story. I mean, in, in the house, it kind of worked as a cutie thing, but like outside, we didn't work. You know, it was like there was lots of things. Did you <laughs> Especially far? when she come to my uh, my friend's party and just it just clashed. You know, <laughs> did you live far apart as well? Yeah, we did. She lived in Watford, and I lived in Brighton. But you know, there was that. I, I, at my friend's party, my welcome back party, I was chasing her down some road in the middle of nowhere in in, in the woods, trying to trying to save her because she was someone squirted her in the face with a water pistol. You know, just going around squirting. She went nuts and she ran off into this in the woods, and I was trying to chase her like <laughs> Nikki, come back! You know what I mean? She lost her. She no. lost the plot. Lost mm. the plot, and she apparently had found someone's house, knocked on the door, and like just stormed in there. Just, just, to, just to wash her face. And someone's like, and it's Nikki from Big Brother in my house. Nikki just walked through the door. <laughs> and I was looking for her and it was just too, it was, yeah, it was too much. I couldn't handle it. Uh, you know, I, I gave it a go, but yeah, I, I just couldn't handle that stress, you know? You know yeah, yeah. But the, 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 the good thing is that we are, are still mates. And um, is, it, is it weird for me to, so, to yeah. for you to meet me today like this? Oh yeah. Having a beer, getting to know each other, that, that you're speaking about thoughts that were Years ago, is it weird? Is it weird? I, I don't know. Life's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Life is weird. <laughs> so let's go into your acting then. Let's before please. we before we wrap up, what what was like? What is? How have you got into acting? Because <coughs> I've seen a lot of different clips. I haven't seen anything full yet. Let me show. But you me. are looking in good top shape, and I'm not just saying that because you're here. Because I will tell you if you were. It's COVID hair. <laughs> are you you're looking good on camera it was, acting. It was a metal. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I thought it's the best way to get uh, anywhere with, in acting is to have normal hair. I mean, I, I, I started acting with crazy hair, and I was like, this ain't gonna get me anywhere. Well, so I saw you about to shoot someone in a suit, in a uh, hat. Oh, that with my stupid hair. We had a hat on. It was like, yeah, and you was about to shoot someone. Oh, hang on a minute. I've shot a lot of people, <laughs> but not in the allegedly. <laughs> yeah, I shot a lot of people. I love, <laughs> I love shooting people, uh, but I can't. <laughs> I can't remember what film that was, but I have shot a few people in. I've uh, shot some zombies. Oh, good. Uh, uh, Do you like The Walking Dead? Um, no, I, I like to kill them <laughs> with my big gun. But actually, I actually haven't seen it. I'm not very good at series. I got such a bad like. I'm like series attention span. Oh, man, band, I yeah? can't get through thirty minutes. I'm just done. Uh, so a film is good for me, and then it's done. On to the next film. Okay. But a series, I can't get through anything except Father Ted. Because that's the fucking bollocks, <laughs> isn't it? Though Father Ted was brilliant. <laughs> so, good. so um, yeah, um, I, I don't know. I started acting in two thousand and eleven, was it? Because it was another thing of mine. I just, I just kind of 
was like running out of money because obviously like um, I'll, I, after Jay Goodley's kind of big brother that kind of made there was a bit racism around I lost a lot of like work because of that and I had to kind of save myself from you know that whole situation was crazy man. yeah because there was all my work dried up so because had, you was associated with big brother yes exactly okay. uh, and, and my agent went Pete they're not using you ever again you're fucking to do with big brother so everything even you, though you were such a positive <coughs> entity with it oh yeah anything to do with big brother was just completely banned for a club really? for as long as i can remember so did it ever bounce back then no I, I had to get into my own i had to do my own thing <coughs> i've gone into acting on my own accord uh just to keep myself fucking going you know mm, yeah, I, was, yeah. I don't think i'd have had anything there's nothing nothing no, you know no so uh, the work i get is all been self I, I've, 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 yeah i'm it's like I'm your own agent in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. got an agent, uh, Shane, at uh, Shane Collins. <laughs> so you want to go here? <laughs> Was it dot Cody or okay? oh, Anyway, okay. Uh, anyway <laughs> we'll, we'll, Shane we'll put it up. Shane up Collins, come on. Um, but yeah, so, but um, yeah, I got into it myself. I said to my bird at the time, um, I'm going to be in a zombie film next year. I thought I'd start with something shit. Okay. Just to get me practicing. Uh, and I said, I'm going to be in a zombie film. <laughs> I'll start with something shit. You know what I mean? Like a B-movie horror. Like okay, my favorite. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I thought, how about a zombie film? Let's start with a zombie film. I, just to practice. I, mm. said to the, I said to Cherry, I said, I'm going to be in a zombie film next year. You watch. And they're going to ask me to be in a zombie film. I'm going to start doing acting. She was like, all right then. Literally, the next next year came and Twitter started, was made. And I got a message from a guy called Warren Speed. And he said, hello, Pete. Uh, we, I'm making a zombie film. Would you like to be in it? Yeah. And I went, yes, I would. So I got in a zombie film. As Bertie Dumble, I was just some kind of nutty guy with silly hair and a, that costume with a gun. And that's probably the film you were. And I was, yeah. Yeah, that's the one that's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was called Zombie Women of Satan 2. <laughs> Zombie Women of. But that seems like my cup of tea. Because oh, that's the sort of shit I like. I think it's on Amazon, actually. Have you seen Hobo with a Shotgun? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. good. Me and you, mate. So I, we, I, 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 I feel it. I feel the connection. <laughs> I'm telling you. But that was, yeah, yeah, it's good. He's, he's, um... <laughs> I'm the Black Pete. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Black Pete, man. <laughs> is that the geezer from... Sat- is it, is, uh, yeah. That's, it was a Black Pete in the... Black Peter. That's a, a Christmas thing. But it's it's really not right. It's, yeah. Is it not bad? Is it not good? It's not right, but there is actually a Black Peter. Right? Oh, right. But it's something to do with Christmas or something. Yeah. But I think, oh, yeah. I know... Um, oh, I can't... I know what you're saying. I know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, but it's just... I think it's not... It's a horror film, yeah? <laughs> no, it's oh, not. Sorry. Just look up Black Peter. Yeah, we'll look it yeah, up. It's something to do with Christmas anyway. But yeah, it was one of the things that like, there was Father Christmas and gnomes, and then there was Black Peter. Okay, but, but, but that, because of you know the way the world is now, just no, that's not. Yeah, allowed. Not, I mean, not allowed anymore. I mean, mm-hmm. as a whole, like we'll, mm-hmm. as we as we end, okay, because I feel like we we've really got through so many different topics with you, Pete, which I think are essential. To what's going on in the world right now? <coughs> okay. What do, what, what do you, what what do you actually think though of like, like reality TV as a whole and you know because because um, this this country thrives off of reality. I used to TV. like reality TV, but now it's not reality TV anymore at all. It's some weird constructed. Basically, there used to be lovely characters like you know Big Brother Seven. Um, everyone was different. Everyone was kind of crazy, as you can see. Uh, but now it's all about plastic being muscly and being sexy you know what i mean mm. and it's like oh hang on a minute everything everything's love island now all the reality show they're just choosing the hottest guys the hottest birds and mm. and 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 they're, and they're promoting kind of some sort of like have you noticed how all the girls nowadays are, are doing this like this the this, this thing mm. and the eyebrows and 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 I'm like, oh, I think a lot of a lot of reality TV now seems to give a lot of people um, insecurities. Absolutely, I'm sure it's not doing. A it's good a thing pandemic. Anymore. I'm it's telling you. Yeah, like I'm saying. I'm telling you, it's a pandemic. <coughs> Social yeah. media, reality TV. Yeah, exactly. People it used want to, be to good. want want to be people that they can't be. I know, but like, why? Oh. What, I'm sitting it, here looking making, at the they're, yeah. They're making like uh, reality TV is making people who are, oh, I don't know. It's like oh man. Well, people could what? also argue if, if you're insecure, you shouldn't watch it. But that's that's not I good know, enough. But like, I don't think that's good enough. I personally. mean, I don't know. It's like oh, I don't know how to put it into perspective or anything. But say like I'm one big brother. Yeah, I've got Tourette's. I'm very open-minded, easygoing, and, and I, I spread love, whatever. But if 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 someone had won who uh, who was I don't know who who was 
This is just or... fake. Oh, okay. Who won? Who's fake? Okay. You know what I mean? And then, and then, then everyone wants to be fake. Do you know what I mean? In a weird way, it's kind of sad because say it's sad. Say, but do you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's well, I don't know. You know, I'm not saying that. The power of TV is crazy. I just it, I just worry about where it's going. You know, I've I've seen a lot of people, lots of people, uh, and and who are obsessed about their bodies now. Um, you know, and obsessed about their looks instead of their and mind. I, Exactly, and that's exactly what I'm trying to say, bruv, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so it is kind of, it is kind of, it is kind of. I, 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 I just, I just hope that people don't re- don't want, you know, the people that are in reality TV now and who are winning now. I don't, you know, the younger generation. I wish they would not see them as magic beings and to follow them. They're not, they're not good um, role models, man. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know what I mean? They're not, and these, the, 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 the role models have changed from back then to now. And mm. It's like. People used to be like uh, clever, and they'd be famous for their mind, like Stephen Fry or something. Like okay, that. okay. But, well, no, but now it's not. It's not about the problem. It's about your looks now. It's really, it's really quite dangerous. But, but what I think <laughs> scary is people, people can't can't use their minds anymore. People people want to believe what they will believe, so they will use they will believe their own biases. So, for example, mm. Pete. Spends all his money on drugs. Yeah, if someone that. wants to believe that, yeah, no, that's that Pete, that Pete, he seems like that. <laughs> Use your mind. People out there, if you're listening, social media will destroy you if you don't use it properly. Social media is beautiful. You can connect with... I would not be here right now with someone <laughs> who I used to look up to when I was a kid <laughs> if I didn't have social media. Let's yeah. use social media differently. Let's embrace the good parts of life to be able to connect with people that you would never connect with in a million years without it. Let's not use it to tear each other down. Let's not, and let's uplift good people instead of idolised <coughs> fucking idiots. Yeah, and like trolls as well. Do you get a lot of that? No, you know, not really. But okay. I, I, I see the odd comment, you know, on, on, on videos, but I don't care. I really don't, I don't care. Because, mm. you know, it's, as long as you love yourself. What gets to you then? <coughs> that's a that's a good thing. I think uh, what what gets to me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, like, what actually? Because oh, yeah. <laughs> you seem right. like an invincible person. I mean, I couldn't be, I couldn't tell you. Um, you know, I yeah, couldn't yeah. tell how what a day with Tourette's would be like. <coughs> well, so you know, it's all right. It's hard. I've got I've got a I don't know. I've got a my my missus is a mental health nurse. Oh, amazing! So you know, I've got a perfect <laughs> got a perfect girlfriend. That's good, man. That's <laughs> Do you know good. what I mean? Who really, who understands me? Uh, in, you know, and all the shit that goes on in my head. I mean, I'm nothing compared to what she goes to work <laughs> for. Well, I'll tell you something. <laughs> I was doing plumbing. Is it? In a mental... Well, I'm a plumber. I'm actually getting out of plumbing, though. Yeah, yeah. So, good luck to me. But I was... <laughs> uh, they went, right, we need to do some plumbing. Yeah. And I was doing it... I was in a mental home, but yeah. I was in a very higher, secure level home, changing... A uh, mental health home, changing taps. Oh, yeah. I, I, I can't, honestly, I had to sit down at break and I cried, mate. Yeah, I cried. I, the things that I think I'm going through or I, yeah. the, the things I witnessed in that hour, in that mental health capacity, <coughs> Jesus Christ, like people trying to hurt themselves, people trying to uh, yeah. run out and, and it was, it was, it really, I think I needed that because it really it made me sit down and go, wow, man, some yeah. people, I'm lucky for what, for what I have in my life. I need to help others. Yeah, well done, man. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. No, yeah. that's what I'm like. I like to help others. Well, I love yeah. looking after people. I love looking after the missus. I was giving her a back rub. Well, that's good. Well, listen, and, we and love her. her tea. <laughs> making her tea in the morning, you know, looking after her. I, I love it. I love it that, you know, that she had a hard day at work and I've got the skills to make her feel good when she gets home and she's got the skills to make me feel good when I'm, you know, not feeling very not f- well. You know? Exactly. Like, she's great. So it's perfect little... Little scenario. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, look. <coughs> lastly, do you want to you wanna yes, say yes. anything as we, as we leave today's yeah. podcast with, with <laughs> the amazing Pete, guys? Come on! Well, thanks, Wicked! <laughs> Well, I like to say, let's uh, go on, go on, check out Green Fingers on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, yeah, lockdown's been great. I've just been editing it. Um, uh, I've just done a last series with Ross Lee. Um, he was on Bo Selector. He's a really funny guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss Selector was amazing. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, and yeah, Green Fingers is on Amazon. It's it's my sitcom that I've that I've got into. Oh, amazing. Um, um, number five's been released on Valentine's Day, and you know, it's me having a date with with a man, but not, <laughs> okay. not knowing it's a man. But, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a, I'm a bit of a dimwit when it comes in, in this sitcom. There's, oh, okay. There's about two gardeners, Bob and Des. I'm Des, really simple guy. You know, I'm absolutely, a bit like Dougal in a way. Um, <coughs> but um, yeah, number five's been released. Um, and we're, we're filming number six soon. And we're redoing number one because number one was just going to be like a, a, a tryout, a pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like, but now I'm editing it and we've got a better crew. You know, the director's better now. <laughs> Belton's got his skills. <laughs> um, you know, um, it's, it's, the, the actual programme's got better and better and better. So now I said, look, we got to get number one made again. So we're, we're remaking one again. I'm, I'm, I'm going to edit it. Velton's going to smash the editing. Um, the directing, sorry. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had a little bit. I'm off in that. Uh, um, but yeah, so Green Fingers is going to be a whole kind of like polished series. Um, independent. No money from it at all. All made through love. You know, I sit, I'm edit- well, independent films are yeah, amazing. Yeah. So it's like, it's, yeah, yeah, they are really good. Really so good. Once, once it's finished, I, I'm, I'm, we're going to try and sell it, hopefully, to, you know, so green Plug fingers, it. yeah. Green fingers, yeah. It's a real. It's a you know. It's a, so th- look, don't take number one as the way it is because it's going to be. Re- but number one's nice enough. But from number two onwards, it's like it's banging. But number one's good. But it's, it, we're going to re. We're going to reshoot it, and it's good. so it's a whole polished one. And then we're going to sell it for loads of money. <laughs> and then someone else is going to edit it, and um, someone else. And we're going to get the credit. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get. Our, uh, you know, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I and so yeah, just check it out. It's Green Fingers Amazon. Sorry, and check out my music if you if you want as well. I mean, I mean, I, ma- I make a Pete Bennett music on SoundCloud forward slash Pete Bennett music. Oh, right. uh, just on SoundCloud, yeah. Yeah, can I put the link at the bottom? No, I'm, no, no. I'm Listen, thinking. we're gonna bef- before this goes out. This goes out in the next four weeks or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So we get it to you before anything goes out, and yeah. we put all your um, Josh, the amazing Josh, That's Josh what? Brown, people. That's he, my cameraman's name too. Is it? Josh. Yes, bro. There's something in the water. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's why I've got to keep him at all costs. Yeah. You can't leave me. No, don't you? Yeah, so we, uh, <laughs> we're we going to put all Pete's details at the back. Oh, thank you. And um, guys, again, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm so grateful that I got to, oh, well, to meet Pete. Yeah, nice and one. Um, I hope you all have a good day, guys. Yeah, and I hope man. you're all safe. Safe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, bro.